Hi, this is Karen, and I'm doing this video to show you how to export materials from um, an old Blackboard class so that you'll be able to import them into a new Blackboard class. The export course feature creates a package of selected course materials and saves it as a compressed zip file, which you will need to save locally to your computer. And it's that zip file which can be imported into another course later on. So to export a course, first go into the control panel and scroll down to Packages and Utilities, and then choose Export slash Archive Course, and then click on the Export button. Select the checkboxes um, next to the course material that you want to export from your old course. Um, if you're not sure, you should probably just select everything. If you haven't used various features, you can skip them. Um, if you have any tests or surveys or test pools, you want to make sure to select the test surveys and pools box. If you have particular menu buttons that you want to carry over, you'll want to make sure to select the settings box. Um, so select the appropriate um, sections and then hit Submit. Be patient as the process completes. A large course might actually take quite a while to export. You should see this green bar at the top that says the action has been queued. An email will be sent when the process is complete. This does not mean that the export file has actually been created yet. Once the export is completed, um, if you navigate away and then come back to this screen, you'll see that there's an export file um, that appears on this page. You need to either control click or right click on this file and choose to download the linked file. You can download it um, and give it a new name if you want or at least choose where you're going to save it. And then make sure that it actually downloads. You can check the size of this export file. If it's in excess of 250 megabytes, you'll need to put in an RT ticket um, and have uh, staff assist you because you won't be able to import a file that's larger than 250 megabytes. Once you've saved the file locally, you can navigate away from this screen. You don't want to open the zip file. Um, you don't want to try to extract anything out of the zip file. This zip file needs to remain intact if you intend on importing it into another course.